All right, so this will be day four of my water fast. It's been 97 hours in, and just reporting on today. How am I feeling? Oh, today, well, I woke up, had something amazing happen to me, which was uh, my bowel movements. They're not brown anymore. It was a very small sludge. It's the mucoid plaque that came out. So after that came out, you know, just so much energy was brimming out of my body and that's why I fast every year to get to get rid of this toxic layer uh, last year I, last year I knew that you know I just have a few more fasts left in me and it, it should be all cleared the whole gut everything and it feels that I'm basically 98% 99% all good after all these years of uh, healthy eating uh, meditation of yoga just conscious living I feel like the whole gut the whole lining is nearly clean and that's the, just a thought and knowing and feeling that I'm there it's, it's, it's been the greatest gift um, energy levels today I did go out uh, shop, uh, do some grocery shopping just to see what the body is going to crave or want after this water fast and right now I'm le really leaning leaning towards grapes and apples and carrots at the moment we'll see if that changes during the next couple of days really 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 want some uh, sweets and kind of like coconut water too probably yeah sweet and liquid you know refresh refreshing kind of uh, drink in me but hey I'm still very blessed to have water every day uh, what did I want to talk about today the importance of uh, breathing yoga meditation during your fast it's probably the most important aspect to keep the mind in check, not let it drain you excessively. And number two was uh, weather. Fast when the weather is warm at least. Don't fast when it's icy cold outside. When your body is just struggling to keep warm, your fast will very likely fail and not, you'll be not getting the greatest benefit out of your fast if you fast when the body is cold and I'm really lucky during these last three days it's been sunny, it's been warm and today it's been a little chilly and foggy, cloudy during the morning but it cleared up so everything is working well today see you tomorrow, thank you so this will be day five of my fast, water fast so 120 hours in just reflecting back over today how am I feeling very clear uh, energy is very 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 stable uh, I did forget to mention in yesterday's log that I did meet a client we did spend time with each other for two hours not too much of an, of an energy drainage but of course I would prefer to not meet anyone during my fast and again, today two friends came over for tea, but I did mention to them that I'm fasting, so they can't stay for long. And they didn't. They, they just stayed for 20-ish minutes. Um, today what I do, I sorted out some sunflower seeds. Then I soaked them to prepare to plant. Then I picked some chili seeds to um, soak first, and then I'm going to plant them. I did walk uh, 3 km today, average pace, nothing, nothing too strenuous, nothing too hard, just walked around the neighborhood. Uh, and I forgot, forgot to mention that today I did get the mucoid plaque uh, bowel movement again. It's a little dark brown, black, sludgy, not fun kind of thing that sticks to your intestinal walls. It floats to the top of the, your toilet uh, as you excrete it and when you flush the toilet it actually sticks to the sides of the toilet so imagine people that don't eat healthy and people that don't cleanse they're probably in deep trouble I eat very clean already I'm very health conscious and I do yearly uh, annual fast to remove this layer because it's in the air it's in the water it's it's in the food on the skin of the even organic food and for sure it's it's in the food that when you dine out even healthy even healthy restaurants 
most likely you are going to accumulate large amounts of uh, mucoid plaque because due to food preparation, one, food combination, another, and additives, preservatives if they add any. So these all play like a huge factor in building up that sludge in your colons. And how does it feel to have it removed? Or well, it feels as if you ate a brand new meal. I mean, that's how, that's how much of an energizing effect it will give you if you can remove it. So to build power, don't eat more, lose more. And anything else I want to add today? Just one more thing, I just changed it up today with uh, distilled water. I think in water fasting, you would have to have to alternate between distilled water, um, spring water, alkaline water. When you have too much salts in your body, your, your lips start to dry out and you tend to want to uh, pee more. So when you are realizing that you're peeing too much during a fast, go back to the distilled water so you can hold on to your moisture level. And my weight, uh, average one pound loss per day, exactly. Uh, since the day that I started till now, I lost five pounds. So until tomorrow, see ya. All right, so we are on day six of my water fast, 144 hours in. So how am I going to break my fast? And I decided, well, tomorrow I am going to break my fast, not because I'm at my body's li body's limits, mental's limits. It's because I have to fly on the 24th and I need probably three to four days to come back to eating food or drinking drinking soup, broth, and having fruit, fruit juices first, then slowly uh, reintegrate solid food. So it's going to take probably six to seven days uh, before I fly out to Sacramento. So I've decided tomorrow I'm going to break my fast, uh, same time, around 5 to 6 p.m. Uh, what am I going to break my fast with? Probably coconut water, grape juice, or date water. At the moment, these are the three foods that I'm kind of leaning towards. I did go out to buy some uh, mangoes today, but I'm not sure how that's going to sit in my stomach because I need to make it to a liquid, a juice. And I don't think my juicer is good enough to liquefy it. So. Probably mango would be on the second day from breaking my fast. Um, let's see, what else? What did I do today? I went to the farmer's market, bought lots of beets, radish, turnip, which I will juice throughout the next couple of days. And spent probably close to seven to eight hours making uh, medicine today. So that was pretty, not tiring, but pretty you know, requires lots of mental focus and concentration when I'm making my medicine. So it did drain me uh, a little bit, but well worth it since today is the full moon and I'm fasting. So all of my energy gets poured into these medicine. And it's also called the fire tamer of mine, good for inflammation. Uh, anything else? Do, 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 do. Well, how long did I initially wanted to fast for? 10 to 15 days. But, you know, with a, with a tight schedule, it's pretty hard to, to reach that. So, next time I will prepare better. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.